my YouTube analytics shows that over 75% of my viewers are not subscribed to my channel yet. So please press on the red juicy subscribe button and smash the bell icon to be notified anytime I upload a new video. To know and understand which stock to buy, which is fundamental analysis. To also know when to sell the stock, which is technical analysis, plus one-on-one -on -one phone call with me and a portfolio update. Join my Patreon group, link in the description below. Hey Derek, before we take off, you want to tell the world who you are and what you do at Lucid yes, Motors? Sure. So my name is Derek Jenkins. I'm the VP, actually senior VP of design at, here at Lucid Motors. Oh, fantastic. You're the man behind the car. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everybody. So uh, Alex Color 247 here. We have Dana from SPAC Mania. We are very excited that Lucid as well as uh, <laughs> Derek has brought us out here to be able to test ride uh, Lucid Air Grand Touring. So hope that, that you guys enjoy the ride and uh, sit back and relax. We're going to be asking some questions and in his insight on to what he likes the most about Lucid and the production and the design of it. So, let's get going. Oh, let's get going. All set? All yes, right. Clearly Do a, a burnout. A few non-electric cars around here as well. <laughs> Listen to that thing. It's yeah, it's pretty sexy. Yeah, the reality is, this car could burn most of the vehicles in here. Well, that's a fair statement. Yeah, and that's a, that's quite a accolade. Awfully noisy, so noisy. <laughs> <laughs> Don't scratch the lucid. <laughs> Man, the moonroof is so sexy in here. So slick. So this car is a, 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 a run, renegade van driver. Um, this car is a pre-production, so we're pretty mechanically, drivetrain-wise, pretty uh, production representative. Mm -hmm. um, uh, fit and finish, still have some improvements to make. There'll be a lot more refinement coming out of the factory when we finally start delivering cars. But nevertheless, you get a full feeling of the car and. and uh, the layout of the vehicle. Um, user experience is also uh, going through several updates, but uh, this is a, a visually very production representative. Nice. So uh, obviously you and Peter work really close right now Extremely with, with, close, with yeah. the design. Uh, for the last couple of months, obviously there's been a change and kind of a push up production a little bit later and a little bit of delay. Um, what's, uh, what's the main issues, the main things that are being focused right now as the vehicle gets closer and closer to production? Well, it's a range of things. So we're going through a lot of refinements and details and material fit and finish, gap fittings, things like that. Mm -hmm. And so we're iterating on those final, final fit and finishes. Um, of course, there's a lot of software updating, refinement, bug fixes going on. Also trying to eke out every little bit of performance, every little bit of efficiency that's taking place. Ongoing testing and validation of brakes, steering, overall handling. Uh, noise, squeak and rattle, all of that stuff. So it's a it's a convergence of all of these things taking place till we till we actually um, deliver cars. Nice, gotcha. So um, this is actually uh, Dana. You want to ask your question of what you were thinking about uh, uh, when it came to design? One second. I mean, yes, obviously this car is a marvel. It's uh, one of a kind, and uh, most curious is that the man behind the design of this vehicle. What are your favorite?
good attributes of this vehicle that make it you know, different than the rest. Yeah, I mean, you know, I, I'm fortunate, I think, to have had a chance to work on a lot of different cars with a lot of different car companies. Um, but working at Lucid and being able to develop a car from, from the ground up, really literally from scratch, but not just a car, a brand, and, and be responsible for kind of that DNA, the look of the design, you know, it, it's it's kind of the whole project is really, you know, something I'm, I'm proud of. Um, but the design itself, I think I'm most proud of kind of the overall proportion and uniqueness of the car. I think that it's really indicative of where electric vehicles can go uh, in the future. A very long cabin, short hood, short trunk, um, very sleek car. Uh, trying to bring elegance into the vehicle um, was, was uh, elegance, but simplicity at the same time is not always an easy thing to do. Um, and so, you know, I, I think probably that that proportion and that impact is, is my favorite part. Yeah, boom, well, we see it in every aspect of the vehicle. It's just so meticulously detailed. It's fantastic. Thank you, thank you. That's been a, a heck of a pro project. <laughs> From so from your history, you've obviously worked with many other automobile makers before. Uh, what is the biggest difference between working with them and working with Lucid now? Yeah, I mean, probably the biggest difference is is that starting from scratch mentality. You know, we've at Lucid, um, we really take the approach that this is like a pivotal chapter in the automotive history, I would say. And, and so having that clean sheet approach with a really strong focus on um, efficiency, course leads to range and then um, on top of that performance um, in this kind of luxury space is is something that I think is unique you know that was really a unique opportunity to do something different the other side of it is also to learn how to invest in the stock market like a pro I mean like a real pro enroll to my online course today which is called growing well with stocks the link is in the description below building a new team you know being able to uh, have a fresh team with a lot of passion and hard work and do this um, all for the first time together is completely different than working at an existing company that's got processes in place and a certain way that they do everything and oftentimes you're like why are we doing it this way can't we try it this way and you can't break through that um, and I think here we've really uh, created a, a new kind of working dynamic mm -hmm. and much of that is, is uh, um, due to Peter Rawlinson's philosophy of everybody working in these close tight teams ultra collaborative um, across all sorts of diff disciplines whether it's the chassis team the overall mechanical engineering team the battery and drivetrain team obviously the design team the suspension uh, team it is incredible collaborative environment that helps us get to this really distilled and refined uh, product. Mm. Very true. Uh, so you and Dana talk, talked a little bit and I was kind of listening and one thing I really want to ask is uh, with starting from fresh and we've looked at amazing cars what during this auto show from Ferraris to new brand McLaren's brand new uh, Volkswagen's coming out and tons of prototypes. Uh, from you starting from scratch, this is basically you placed you and the whole Lucid team kind of putting a thumbprint on a brand new design uh, and an entrance to the to the electric world. 